Hi, welcome back to Plate. Now we're going to heat and plate up the beef main course. So for this, you're going to need your oven on 180 degrees fan or 200 degrees uh, non-fan. Largest pan of water that's been brought to the boil and then reduced to a simmer. Frying pan to pan sear your steaks and cook your spinach. I've also got a small pan here to warm the Malbec jus back through. The Malbec jus is actually in a microwavable container if you'd rather just microwave it for a minute and a half. That's completely up to you. Uh, obviously your two plates for your main courses. Uh, chopping board that we're going to slice the steaks on. And then we've got some spoons and some spatulas and fish slices just to um, help with the plating up and obviously the cooking of all the components. You're also going to need a timer. I've just got my phone here. I've set it at 15 minutes ready to go, which is how long the uh, components that are going into the oven are going to take. The dish overall should take no more than 18 to 20 minutes max and we'll have everything done. Um, so in your bag you will find You have your rump steak, which has been sous vide cooked, um, and then to a medium rare, which is just going to get reheated in the simmering water. And then we're gonna pan sear it in the pan just to finish it off. You've got your parsnip puree, which is in a piping bag shaped vacuum pack bag, so we can easily pipe it onto the plate. Again, we're just going to warm that in, in the boiling water. Green beans wrapped in pancetta. Dolphin wild potatoes and beef brisket wrist rolls. Some fresh spinach to cook in the pan. Your Malbec jus and some chive truffle oil. And again, in a little piping bag shaped uh, uh, vacuum pack bag, just to finish each plate off. Okay, so as I said, we should have our timer set to 15 minutes. I've got a preheated tray in the oven as well, just to make things a little bit easier. So we're going to heat up on the tray, golf more potatoes, the rissoles and the green beans. They're all gonna go in for 15 minutes. All three of these components are on greaseproof paper already. So I just pop them straight on the tray, on their greaseproof paper. Pop it in the oven. And press go on your timer for 15 minutes. Now, if you went for the wine matching with this uh, main course, James from Waistcoat Wines um, tried the beef and from his collection of wines, this is what he recommended. It's called Man Meats Mountain Malbec. It's a fantastic choice. It's really rich in flavour. Uh, you mainly get blackberries, plum and like blueberries coming through. I think it's a perfect match to go with this beef dish. So if you're lucky enough to have uh, ordered it as well, then you're sure you'll really enjoy it and you're sure you'll think it's a good match to go with the beef too. Okay, so after five minutes, we are going to pop the parsnip puree and the steak into the pan of water. Um, we're not gonna keep the steak in there for that long. The parsnip puree will stay in there for the 10 minutes remaining, but the steak, we're only gonna put in for about six minutes just to, just to warm it back through. And then we're gonna take it out and we're going to pan sear it into um, a ready hot frying pan. Just while we're waiting, we can, if you are heating your jus up in a pan, we can take it out, pop it in. And get it ready to warm up. Okay, so we've got 10 minutes left on the timer. So we now pop the parsnip puree and the steaks into the simmering water. And you can also just pop your jus on to warm through. 
nice and slower. Okay, there's six minutes left on the timer. Now we're going to get this pan nice and hot for when the steak comes out. What we're going to do is get it nice and hot, a little bit of oil in there, and then when we the steak's out of the, out of the vacuum pack bag, we're going to sear it off in the pan before we carve it and put it on the plate with everything else. Also, when there's five minutes left, we'll put the plates in just for a couple of minutes to warm them through so that when we're plating them up, they don't take the uh, heat out of the food so it's, it stays nice and hot. The jus, warming up lovely, slow simmer. Okay, five minutes. Plates in the oven. Okay, we're down to four minutes now. The pan's getting nice and hot. We're going to take the steaks out. And we're just going to put a knife down the edge of the bags, get them out. bit of oil in the pan. So at the same time as searing these steaks off, we're also going to cook the spinach. Plates have been in for a couple of minutes. Be nice and hot. and hot. I'm just going to pop the steaks in. Three minutes left on the timer. Wipe your board. We're also going to look for just to pop the spinach in the pan as well, just to the top. Using a spoon to move it about. Turn the steaks over. The steaks will only take another 30 seconds. And then they can come out on the board and then we can carve them when we get ready to close them. Okay, we're down to two minutes now. We're going to take the puree out of the water, put that on the board. Steaks can also come out. And now there's three pieces, two plates, but we're just going to carve it evenly in sets. Separator. And spinach just wilted down. And put that to one side of it and you can turn it off. You can separate it from the pan as well if you like so there's an even amount of each. Okay, so now we're going to take the puree and we're going to cut the end of the piping bag off. If it's too hot to hold, just use a tea towel to hold it at the same time. We're going to put some puree on the plate, and then we're going to put the spinach on top of the puree. Okay, use a spoon just to press it down. Like so. Right, so now we're going to put the spinach. I'm going to sit it on top of the puree. Like so. Right, now we can go.
next up, we're going to take the components out of the oven. According to my timer, there is 10 seconds remaining, so spot on. We're going to lift the dough with a fish slice, we're just going to lift the dough from where off, put it on the plate. green beans on the plate. The salt. Steam it up against the dough for more. And then we're going to carve the steak piece by piece using the whole of the knife just slice it right through. Nice even slices. Then put to one side, next piece. When slicing it, always use the whole of the knife, not just pressing down. You're letting the knife cut it, you're not squashing it. Last one. So what we're going to do is we're going to fan some out on the actual plate. So we're going to build a base first. So I'm just going to take some pieces and lay it down as a base. So then we can separate the rest out. We're going to fan it out. The steak I've done so it's medium once it's finished off. with the jus. So I find if you run the jus just over the top of the steak using a spoon into the gap and then round the outside. Same on the other one, over the top of the steak. Use your knife and just snip the end of the oil off. And we're just going to dress it around. And there we have the two beef main courses ready to go.